Hi fudgies and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. Today I have lots of fun but easy lunch ideas to share with you. And I'm super excited because today we've asked another mystery YouTube channel to choose our lunches for us. Our mystery channel is Ninja Kids TV. Yeah. If you're not already yeah. subscribed to Ninja Kids TV, yeah. you should definitely go check them out. They are an awesome family-friendly channel that all ages can enjoy. They make action skits, they go on awesome adventures, and they do fun challenges. And what I really like about their channel is they like to focus on character building messages. And you guys, their athletic ability is truly amazing. I'll go ahead and put a link to their channel in the description box below. So don't forget to go check them out. Now before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get on to the lunches that the Ninja Kids picked out for us this week. First up, we have a lunch chosen by Peyton. The first thing I'm gonna put in her lunch is a hollowed out bread bowl. And that's because Peyton chose a soup for her lunch today. Have you guys ever had soup in a bread bowl? It is so good. But for Peyton's lunch, she chose clam chowder. Now I have to be honest with you guys, I've never ever made clam chowder before. So for this lunch, I'm definitely taking help from the store. I picked this soup up at Costco. This is a really famous brand in California. They serve this a lot in San Francisco, which is not that far from where we actually live. So since this chowder is fully cooked, all I'm gonna have to do is heat it up. Now that it's piping hot, I can go ahead and add it to the thermoses. And then when it's lunchtime, the kids can actually pour the soup into their bread bowl and eat it like that. It is so fun. I think they're going to love that. So here we have the soup in the thermos. I'm also gonna remember to throw in a spoon. Gotta have a spoon with the soup. Now moving on to the fruit. For Peyton's lunch, she chose cantaloupe. Definitely one of my favorite fruits. And to make this cantaloupe even more special, I'm using my wavy cutter. I'm gonna use this to cut out big wedges. Then I'm gonna take off the peel, of course. This is exactly how I used to cut the fruit when I worked for edible arrangements. You know, the fruit bouquets. This is exactly how they do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cantaloupe in this new container. I love these containers, they're so fun. For the vegetable today, Peyton chose carrots. So I went ahead and made these really thinly cut carrot coins. These are really simple. I just started by peeling the carrot and then using my mandolin slicer, I sliced them extra thin. To go along with this, Peyton also chose some goldfish crackers. And since she wears a lot of pink in her videos, I decided to get these pink goldfish. These are technically the princess ones. They taste exactly like regular goldfish, they're just pink. Now moving on to the special treat today. Peyton chose a candy that I've actually not had for a long time. These are called Rolo. If you've never had these before, it's basically chocolate on the outside and chewy caramel on the inside. They are so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open up this package and put about four pieces in this little container. I think that'll be the perfect amount for a lunch. And then for Peyton's drink today, I'm adding a pina colada drinkable yogurt. Okay friends, and now it's time to find out what the kids thought of today's lunch. I've got Mackenzie. Hi. Lily. Hi. And Jackson with me. Who wants to go first today? Jackson. I have to say, Jackson is the soup winner. He ate the most of the soup. Are you an adventurous eater now? Kind of. I think out of all the kids, he is the one that likes the seafood the most. He definitely will, he at least will try it. Are you dropping stuff over there? No. <laughs> She's dropping all my food pics on the floor. <laughs> okay, Lily, what do you think? What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was some of the carrots. What about you, Jack? What was your favorite? Jackson, what was your favorite? You did a good job with the bread bowl. I like the bread bowl. The bread bowl was your favorite? And Kenzie? My favorite was the Rolos. The Rolos. Very chewy. Very chewy, yep. Full of caramel, that's why. Bye. Ooh. 
Hey guys, now today's lunch was chosen by Paxton, and for his main course, he chose mac and cheese. So today I'm going with the Annie's Creamy Deluxe for cheese mac and cheese. Now my kids have tried lots of different kinds of mac and cheese, but they haven't tried this one, so we'll see if they like it or not. With this kind of mac and cheese, you just boil the noodles like normal, but then the cheese is not a powder. You don't have to add milk or butter. You just open up the package and pour it in. I'm gonna try my best to get all of the cheese out of here and then give it a nice big stir. Now this box made a lot of mac and cheese and I think my kids are going to love it. So I'm gonna fill these thermoses almost to the top. Moving right along to the fruit. Paxton chose a watermelon. But to make this even more interesting, I'm gonna take a little star of cantaloupe. I'm gonna place that cantaloupe directly in the center of the watermelon. This is just a really fun but easy way to make fruit more interesting. So I'm gonna get this watermelon in there and I'm gonna add a few more watermelon stars. I think this looks super fun and it reminds me of summertime. And then of course we have the mac and cheese already in the thermos. I'm gonna remember my spoon today. And then I'm gonna add the vegetable. For Paxton's lunch, he chose carrots. So I'm just gonna add a big handful of these crinkle cut carrots. And then to go along with that, a spicy snack. Paxton is a big fan of Takis. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried these. They are surprisingly good, but they are spicy. Now for Paxton's special treat, he chose Skittles. And I found these perfect little mini bags in the Valentine's Day section of Target. They're perfect size for this lunch. And then last but not least for the drink today, Paxton chose lemonade. All right, lunchtime is over, and as you can probably tell, the mac and cheese was a huge hit. Did you guys really like it? Yeah. You ate yeah. pretty much all of it. There's just a few little noodles left out in there. But what did you think of the rest of the lunch, Kenzie? What was your favorite? My favorite was actually the watermelon. The watermelon. What about you, Jack? Um, I like the watermelon. I like the Takis too, but they're a little spicy because I, I like them with uh, sour cream. <laughs> sour cream to cool them down. Did you girls want to try any Takis today? No way. <laughs> See, we just and no. what's with these Skittles, Jackson? You don't, like, you don't like the yellow ones? No. I think they all taste pretty much the same. What about you, Lily? What was your favorite? My favorite part was the Skittles. Skittles, really? I thought you would like the watermelon the best. The watermelon was good too. Ooh. Hey guys, now today's lunch was chosen by Brighton. And instead of starting by making the main course, I'm actually starting by cutting up the fruit instead. For his fruit today, Brighton chose oranges. So I'm cutting these oranges into orange smiles because I know my kids will love these, especially Miss Lily. So I'm gonna add lots of oranges to this lunch. And then to make it even more special, I'm gonna add a small piece of pineapple to the center. Now moving right along to the main course for his lunch today, Brighton chose teriyaki chicken. To make this quick and easy, I'm going to heat up the kind from Trader Joe's. This is actually really good and really easy. It's fully cooked, so all I have to do is throw it in the microwave and then add the special teriyaki sauce. Now usually for lunches, I don't have a ton of time, so I don't always make everything from scratch. Taking help from the store is great. So now that I have the teriyaki chicken nice and hot, I'm gonna add it to the thermoses. Now if you wanted to, you could also add some rice in here. That would be a really good combination. Now to go along with this, I'm also adding some edamame. These are still in the shell. They are lightly salted. So all the kids have to do is pop them open and they can eat them. Pretty much all of my kids love eating edamame and they think popping them open is actually really fun. Next up in Brighton's lunch, I'm adding his favorite nacho chips. These are the late July nacho chipotle chips. So they're a little bit on the spicy side, but I think my kids will like them anyway. For the special treat today, Brighton chose one of my favorites, which is Reese's Pieces. Now, if you don't have Reese's Pieces where you're from, basically this is a lot like an M&M, but instead of just chocolate inside, it's peanut butter. So I'm just gonna add about a handful to today's lunch, and I'm gonna serve them in my cute little round snack holder. So I'm gonna fit these treats right down in here, and then for the special drink today, Brighton chose a pina colada. So this is a combination of 
coconut and pineapple. The kids are gonna love it. Guess what, you guys? You are all the winners of today's lunch because look at this one. You ate almost everything. Well, you did eat everything. Those edamames are empty. Jackson ate pretty much everything. And Lily, you did too. And the chicken is mostly gone too. So everybody did a great job today. What was your favorite part though? My favorite part was the teriyaki chicken. My favorite part was the oranges. Oranges. <laughs> and Jackson? My favorite part was the yogurt drink. The pina colada? Uh-huh. Mm. You liked it too? Yeah. What did you say about it, Lily, though? You said it tasted more like... Banana. Banana. I liked everything in this lunch, but the chips were kind of spicy. Spicy? Mm -hmm. Who likes spicy food? Me. Just Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi there. Now this next lunch was chosen by Ashton. And for this lunch, I'm also going to start by preparing the fruit first instead of the main course. For his fruit today, Ashton chose pineapple. So I'm actually going to cut this in a really special way. I'm going to make some pineapple flowers. Again, this is something that I used to do all the time when I worked for Edible Arrangements, and it's just a really easy way to make fruit look special. You just have to slice the pineapple into rings and then use a big cookie cutter to cut it out. Now to make these look even more like flowers, I'm gonna take my melon baller and I'm gonna scoop out one ball of cantaloupe and I'm gonna add it directly to the top of the pineapple and then I'm going to secure it with a little food pick. Again, this was super quick and easy, but it looks so cool. Now moving right along to the main course. Today, Ashton chose Alfredo pasta. So for this, I'm actually gonna use some of this fresh pasta. This is a fettuccine noodle. Now this is actually imported from Italy and it's only supposed to take about two minutes to cook. And then for the Alfredo sauce, I don't actually have any regular on hand, but I did find this black truffle Alfredo sauce at Trader Joe's, so we're gonna give that a try. So I'm just gonna cook and drain the noodles like normal, and then I'm gonna add the heated up Alfredo sauce directly to the top. Once I have this all mixed together, I can add it to the thermoses. And because I preheated these thermoses, the pasta should stay hot until lunchtime. And I get asked about these little fork spoon combinations all the time. I find them on Amazon, and if you're curious, I will link them down below. Moving right along to the vegetable, Ashton chose broccoli with a ranch, of course. So I'm just gonna add a little container of ranch to the side. I get these ones at Daiso, which is like the Japanese dollar store. Next up, I'm adding another one of Ashton's favorites, which is chips and guacamole. Now I actually found these snack packs at Walmart and it comes with the chips and a little container of guacamole all in one. These look really interesting. They're the perfect size for a lunch, not too big. So we'll see if the kids like them or not. Now for the special treat today, Ashton chose the Hershey's cookie and cream candy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a poll in right here and you guys can let me know out of all the special treats in these lunches, which treat was your favorite? Because the Ninja Kids chose a lot of good treats this week. And then last but not least, Ashton also chose a pina colada. And now I actually found a different kind of pina colada. This is actually an unsweetened sparkling water. So it's a little bit of a healthier choice. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, and I have to say that nobody really liked this pasta sauce at all. Unfortunately, the black truffle was not a hit. Next time, I would definitely use regular Alfredo sauce because the black truffle one really tasted like mushrooms. So if you don't yeah. like mushrooms, you would not like that sauce. But regular Alfredo sauce we do like. Yeah, next time I'll get regular. What was your favorite thing, Kenzie? I really like the pineapple. The pineapple flower, yeah. What about you, Jack? I like the chips and guacamole. Yeah, those little snack packs were cool. Me too. What about you, Lily? My favorite was the chips and guacamole. The... <laughs> What was it again? Oh yeah, the broccoli and the chocolate. The cookies and cream? Mm-hmm. Can you say guacamole for me? Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to open your box. There's just a little bit of broccoli. 
and a few pieces of pineapple, but that one's not looking so good. See you next week! Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.